Hello, I'm Ben Smith, Director of Recharge and Wetland Operations for the Orange County Water District. One of OCWD's main tenants is to manage and protect the Orange County groundwater basin. 19 cities and water districts pump water from the basin to supply their customers. 2.5 million people in North and Central Orange County. Every year, OCWD sets a basin pumping percentage, or BPP. This is the percentage of water each agency can pump from the basin. Groundwater is much less expensive than imported water, so we set the BPP as high as we can while balancing what we put in with what is pumped out. The percentage is currently set to 85%. Orange County is located in a semi-arid region and is no stranger to drought. That's why OCWD uses a variety of sources to refill the groundwater basin. Santa Ana River water, untreated imported water from Northern California and the Colorado River, storm water, recycled water, and nature's incidental recharge. Today you will see, hear, and learn about the district's surface recharge operations and groundwater management. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Julio Langarica. And I'm Jeff Boudreau. And we're here at Prado Dam in Corona, which was built in 1941 for flood control by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. OCWD works closely with the Army Corps on a number of projects, such as Forecast Informed Reservoir Operations, or FIRO. FIRO uses technology to improve weather forecasting, which helps OCWD better plan and manage stormwater capture. Stormwater, along with inland Santa Ana River flows, is captured and stored behind Prado Dam at an elevation of 505 feet, or about 20,000 acre feet. To put that number in perspective, that's an equivalent of water for 160,000 people for a year. Acre feet is a typical American unit of measurement for water supply. Think of it as one football field covering one foot of water. One acre foot of water is enough for two families of four for one year. Storing water behind the dam allows us to release it at a rate that can be captured and recharged downstream. Another perk of storing water behind Prado Dam is the natural cleaning performed by OCWD's Prado Wetlands. These wetlands cover 450 acres and are the largest constructed wetlands on the West Coast. In addition to providing habitat to hundreds of flora and fauna, including several endangered species, wetlands naturally improve water quality by removing nitrates and other contaminants from the water. On average, stormwater accounts for approximately 15% of the water recharged into the basin. After water is released from the dam, it continues traveling in the Santa Ana River. The Santa Ana River is Southern California's longest river. It flows 96 miles from the San Bernardino Mountains all the way to the Pacific Ocean. The area that feeds it to the river is called the Santa Ana River Watershed. In addition to natural water resources, the Santa Ana River also conveys treated wastewater discharge from the inland communities. Santa Ana River base flow accounts for 20% of water recharge into the basin. The Orange County Water District manages a six mile stretch of river between Prado Dam and Anaheim. Let's take a closer look at district operations along the river. Hi, I'm Alex Cervantes. I am the Heavy Equipment Operator Supervisor for the Orange County Water District. OCWD employs a variety of tactics to control and clean the water as it makes its way down the river. This is our rubber dam. It's 300 feet long. It helps us impound water behind us and divert water to our different locations. As you can see here, the rake is being lowered to pick up debris, trash from the dam being inflated. These three weir ponds are meant to desilt the water before it goes into our off river. TNL levees are designed to minimize water loss to the ocean by slowing down the flow and maximizing percolation. As a heavy equipment operator, we are in the river every day to clean build up silt, which also helps in slowing down flow and increases percolation. Welcome to Warner Basin. I'm Danny Samala, Field Headquarters Maintenance Supervisor. Warner Basin is one of the, more than two dozen basins in the cities of Anaheim and Orange, which recharge water from the river and other sources into the OC groundwater basin. The naturally coarse grain sandy soils in these areas are very conductive to surface water percolation. 
recharge basins range in the depth from 5 to 60 feet. To keep our basins in tip-top shape, we maintain a regular cleaning schedule that involves draining and cleaning the bottom to remove sediment and debris. Now let's visit some of our other basins. Anaheim Lake not only recharges Santa Ana River water, but untreated import water. We purchase this water at a discounted rate from Metropolitan Water District when needed to help replenish the basin. Although the annual number varies, imported water on an average accounts for 18% of water recharge into the groundwater basin. Santiago Basin borders the cities of Villa Park and Orange and is our largest basin, holding up to 13,600 acre feet of water. This basin stores water coming from the Santa Ana Mountains and behind is our flowing pump station, which consists of two 450 horsepower vertical turbines that transfer the water to Burris Basin. Hi, I'm Octavio Reynoso, Grounds Maintenance Supervisor. Behind me is La Palma Basin, one of our newest recharge basins, and it's one of two that exclusively accept GWRS water. The GWRS produces advanced purified water sourced from wastewater. GWRS water is a major source of basin replenishment, accounting for approximately 40%. GWRS water improves the overall basin water quality due to its ultra purity and can percolate up to 18 feet per day. If you're interested in learning more about this world-renowned water reuse facility, I encourage you to sign up for a tour. Part of the downstream is Burris Basin. See you there. Welcome to Burris Basin, the final destination in the off-river system, and is used to transfer water to San Diego Basin for storage. One of the unique attributes of Burris is a 2.4 acre island at the center, which provides a nesting area for birds that is inaccessible to land predators. Burris is also home to the scenic Anaheim Coast Trail. Recreation activities can be found around and even within our recharge basins. From walking, golfing, fishing and swimming, there's something for everyone. We're now back at OCWD's field headquarters in Anaheim. Thank you for following along as we took a closer look at some of OCWD's recharge operations. Jeff, Julio, Alex, Danny, and Octavio are just five of the more than 20 staff members who work in OCWD's recharge and wetland operations. These talented individuals are recharge operators, heavy equipment operators, mechanics, maintenance technicians, and planners, just to name a few. They ensure the capture of as much water as possible to continually replenish the basin. On average, OCWD's surface recharge system puts 220,000 acre feet per year into the groundwater basin. The Orange County Groundwater Basin is one of the county's greatest assets. Over the last 50 years, careful management by OCWD has doubled the basin's yield, or the amount of sustainably pumped groundwater. We will continue to manage it in a way that is beneficial and sustainable for the region. Thank you again for joining us on a tour of OCWD's recharge operations.